Welcome, this is Shai from Simplex. Apple just launched their latest operating system, the Mac OS X 10.11 El Capitan. Anyway, how does this stack up against Microsoft's latest and greatest Windows 10? Also, let's find out how does the most popular Linux operating system, Ubuntu, compares against the other two. Comparing the following version numbers Ubuntu 15.04, Mac OS 10.11, El Capitan, Windows 10 updated up till today. We have divided this shootout into a few categories. Let's head to the first category look and feel. Mac tried to put too much of iOS into the Mavericks and it wasn't very good, right? Then Yosemite came out and it was okay -ish. El Capitan tries to fix a lot of elements but still I feel that a lot of iOS is inside Mac OS and they are two very different operating systems. Coming to Windows, Windows 8 was a mess. Again same Metro UI, I mean the start menu was gone. Windows 10 on the other hand fixed a lot of things and Windows is also heading in the right direction. Ubuntu on the other hand is an open source operating system and I'd really not blame them. They are clean and classic, but nothing fancy. They are not as, let's say, the user interface is not as intuitive and useful as the Windows and Mac. At the end, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, guys. So look and feel, judge for yourselves. Now from my side, the rating is as follows. Mac gets a 9 out of 10 for all the positives they have included. Windows, 9 out of 10. Ubuntu, 8 out of 10. Available software is our next category. Now let's get this out of the way. These three are the most popular operating systems in the world. So softwares for all of them is abundant. But as we all know, with demand there is supply. Windows rules the operating system world with a staggering 75 to 85 percent market share. With Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 dominating the market. And like we all know, with such demand and user base, developers are leaning towards Windows. So Windows without a shade of doubt has the highest number of variety and applications and softwares out there in the market and all over the internet for Windows. Coming to Mac, Mac also has a pretty, pretty, pretty great variety of softwares. So does Ubuntu, their respective software centers or like Ubuntu Software Center, Apple's Mac Store and Windows Store has a host of apps from which you can download. At the same time, internet has a lot more. So just like I said, because of the lead Windows has, Windows gets a 10 out of 10 in this section. Macintosh Mac OS gets a 9 out of 10. I'm old school guys, I still like calling it Macintosh. Anyway, Ubuntu gets a 9 out of 10 too. Gaming, our next section. I agree, game is like any other software, but because of the sheer variety of games available and the sheer power these softwares need, they are a, in a class of its own. So, Windows wins, hands down, and I don't want to even debate about this, because of DirectX and support for also a host of other APIs out there. Now let's talk about Ubuntu. Ubuntu did not have much support, but with Steam OS coming onto Linux, Linux operating systems get a huge boost and that makes it better because OpenGL is on the rise for game developers to develop games. Coming to Mac, Mac OS is lagging behind in gaming and everyone knows but Apple is taking a step in the positive direction with the Metal API. Here's to hoping that Mac by the next iteration of the operating system tries to bridge the gap even further. So as of now with the current best AAA titles available for Windows. Windows gets a 10 out of 10 in gaming, Ubuntu gets a 9 out of 10 because of the push from Steam especially and Mac gets an 8 out of 10. Still kudos to Apple for giving importance to gaming and introducing Metal API. Ubuntu at stock is bland but it's a Linux operating system. Here lies its biggest advantage guys. 
it can offer insane amounts of customization with desktop environments like KDE and GNOME and many other theming softwares. So Ubuntu in this section is the clear winner. Although Windows is not far behind with personalization options like changing the color of the title bar, the taskbar, the intro sequence and the overall theme packaging that Windows lets you do and choose customized colors, very important. But coming to Mac, well, Mavericks and Yosemite, especially Mavericks, allowed a lot of customization. Unfortunately, with El Capitan, Mac is trying to make the OS unrootable. That is not going to happen. Developers will root it, there's no doubt about it. But what happens is, the average user is not going to vie for the root access. Thereby, every Mac is going to look the same. Thereby, Ubuntu gets a 9 out of 10 for the solid customizability available. Windows an 8 out of 10 for the humble customizing suite. Mac, a 7 out of 10. Next up is performance. Now guys, let me get this straight out of the way. Ubuntu, Windows and Mac OS X, El Capitan, all are tremendous performance. They are fast and they are blazing fast, let me tell you, provided you provide them with the proper system specifications. Getting into the nitty gritties of the differences, Windows was pretty buggy and had hiccups when it was launched, but with subsequent updates, the ones that happens in the background, right, those. They have fixed a lot of issues and Windows 10 right now is the fastest operating system and I'm saying that based on app launching times. Coming to Ubuntu, Ubuntu is classic and fast and smooth and El Capitan is very new. It was launched just a few days back. I'm sure Apple is going to bring El Capitan up to scratch with a host of updates and have full confidence in Apple. But since the three operating systems I ran were on different platforms, different systems rather, I will not give you benchmarking numbers and say which one was purely faster and which one was not. All you need to know is from a speed point of view, all three were very good. The next section is virtualization. Now, it is important for many industries and individuals as well. Running virtual machines of VMware or VirtualBox is a common practice. Windows and Ubuntu have no problem running in any operating system whatsoever at least the ones that I have tried, to my limited knowledge. Well, want to run Ubuntu on Mac OS? Not a problem, guys. Want to run Windows and Ubuntu? Not a problem. Windows on Mac? I mean, boot camp? Rings a bell? It's possible. But want to run Mac on Ubuntu or Windows? Uh oh There. There is the problem, guys. Apple, God knows why, has artificially restricted being able to run macOS on any machine whatsoever apart from the ones that Apple manufactures. But does that stop us or did it stop us? Not really. Well, there's something called a Hackintosh guys. If you want to learn more about it, just let us know down in the comments. For the poor virtual machine implementation of Apple, it gets a low score in this. Anyway, getting back to topic, Ubuntu was the slickest and the fastest in virtual machines. Windows 10 for its relatively new updates and a lot of new host of new things that Microsoft has introduced with Windows 10, it was a little bit more tricky. So for virtualization, here are the final scores. Ubuntu gets a 10 out of 10, Windows a 9 out of 10 and Mac because of the hardest way of implementing Mac through Hackintosh gets a 6 out of 10. Guys, it's conclusion time. Well, here are the final scores. Mac gets a 39 out of 50. Ubuntu gets a 45 out of 50. And Windows gets a 46 out of 50. Well, just by scores, it seems that Windows has won this three-way Royal Rumble. Well guys, we shot this video to answer the request of Duke Sen, one of our fellow commenters. If you have many such videos in mind, please write them down in the comment section. Lastly guys, if you liked it, like this video. If you disliked it, dislike it. But leave me in positive criticism as to how can we improve ourselves. And most importantly, subscribe to our channel guys as that will encourage us and help us out greatly.